All right, everybody. Hello. Welcome back. <clears throat> so, you know, we're going shopping again. This is a place I'm going to every day. I never think about starting up my camera and showing you guys a lot of the preps that you can find in this store right here. L-O-W-E-S. Whoa. Welcome to Plant Based Homestead Prepper. I am Grim from Grim Survival, where we talk about SHTF scenarios, food shortages, things I see while driving this thing, and solar minimums, among many other things. But back to your regular scheduled program. Cue the intro. This is Roderick Chappelle for Plant Based Homestead Prepper, where we make prepping fun. Hey, I stopped at this store and got this cool Halloween mask. Look at this thing. It's got long hair. It's got a beard of a white guy. Man, this is scary, man. And uh, look at here. It even looks real. So, uh, but anyway, this is uh, actually Paul from Off Grid Desert Farm with Paul and Adrian, and uh, we're working together with uh, with Roderick's channel to uh, to get things going. So. Uh, if y'all have time, stop by our channel, check it out. But uh, just wanted to do a little intro for uh, for the plant-based homestead prepper. We we make prepping fun, guys. So um, they do have this mask at your local store, probably, or maybe on America's most wanted. But anyway, <laughs> y'all guys have fun, and we'll see you later. Bye bye. Alright, so usually at LOWS, if you walk outside, you can find things like these. Alrighty. And if you have enough property and enough bank account, you too can have a riding lawnmower. Maybe you need something bigger because your estate is bigger. Then you won't find it here. You need to go somewhere else. So we're coming up on <clears throat> the nursery section. We're doing the springtime. I spend a lot of time. All right, got some blueberries, raspberries, and grapes. Surprised they still have grapes. Okay, lemon balm. Like cilantro right here. What is this? Oh, lemon balm. Okay. <clears throat> Parsley, mint, stuff should be going on sale really soon. And a couple of more mature blueberries, plants. Looks like that's all they have as far as edibles are concerned. So, hi, I'm Christina. And you are watching Plant Based Homestead Prepper. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. All right, so my favorites, fruit trees. And this is a great time of year where you can catch some trees. So there's a pear tree. That's apple, more apples. People love peach trees, so I doubt we're gonna see one of those. All right, I, you know what I didn't see this year? I didn't see any pecan trees palm trees I, unless you're trying to get shade I don't really know what the use of those are unless you unless you're gonna have some a whole bunch for for Easter time frame Palm Sunday you can have your own palms I guess but I tend not to buy things that I can't eat so let's mosey on to see if they have anything back here that is nope all right, so the rest of this stuff is just shrubbery and trees and stuff like that. So catch you on the inside. Okay, change the plan. I saw something when I said change to catch you on the inside, and I wanted to show you guys this. Now, at every nursery, at every Lowe's, Home Depot, there's always a section that they have where they reduce stuff for quick sale. So let's go back here and check. Now, sometimes... You can find some edibles back here. Not very likely, but sometimes you can. All right, and if nothing else, you can find some things that you can try to bring back to life. Okay, that's beautiful, whatever it is. 
Okay, and let's look over here. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Okay. I am going to show you a good prep item that you're going to need, especially if you have any kind of property. Even if you have a house, you're going to need one of these. Not that. That's good to have. But something you're going to need, you need some kind of way of moving stuff around. Whether it's one of these big carts like this or just a regular old wheelbarrow. All right? You get one for as low as $54, $74, $89, $89, $129. They don't even have the little one that I bought. I bought a little cheap one about two or three years ago. And I think I only paid like 39 bucks for it. And that thing is amazing. So, you're going to need one of these. Especially after SHTF or WROL. Hi, I'm Christina. And you are watching Plant Based Homestead Prepper. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Subscribe to our channel. Bye. Subscribe to our channel. Yes, subscribe to our channel. Say it again. Subscribe to our channel. Yes, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. <laughs> this is going to be a several part series of shopping at Lowe's. Now, now you're going to do that. So this first part is going to be the nursery, outside, and then just hand hand tools okay and at your home or homestead you're gonna need you gonna need a lot of this stuff okay great tool to have right here pitchforks great tool to have 37.98 you guys can't see um hole you can get you can get holes at uh at other places much cheaper okay i showed you guys in one video last week where roses had them for like eight bucks so this one is 19.98. This one's 19.98. There's one they call it a cultivator, and it is. It's more like a. It's a cultivator. <laughs> All right, now this is my favorite tool that I own, and I bought it from here. And I actually have this one right here, a stirrup hoe. This thing is absolutely amazing with weeding and turning over some soil amazing you know for a small for a small herb garden rakes of course it's great to have um shovels okay now i use these to shovel snow and it's actually a scoop post hole digger if you have if you have a homestead you're gonna need a good post hole digger did y'all see those i don't know if y'all can see them there you go all right more shovels a tamper all right don't really use that much on the homestead. Uh, here's a cheaper digging shovel, spaded shovel, $7.98. Uh, let's see what else. Okay, great for your bug out bag. One of these, collapsible or foldable saw, $13.99. Awesome, awesome. You're gonna need this for your homestead or when you're a homeowner, you may need one of those. You're definitely going to need some pruning shears when you have trees, if you have trees, uh, and work gloves. This is an amazing prep that a lot of people forget about, and you can, I mean, gloves range from cheap, cheap, all the way up to expensive, expensive. So you get a pair of gloves, working gloves, for like $3, all the way up to $25, okay? And for the ladies in your life, if you want to get them some cutesy cutesy gloves right there, get some yard care gloves. They have you know liquid protection. But gloves, 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 gloves. You can't have too many gloves. And gloves, you know, gloves last a while, but they can wear out. While I'm on this aisle, I'm gonna show you another good prep that you need to put into your yeah, you need to put this into your um, preps. All right, bam, okay, one pound propane tanks, propane stabilizer, okay, propane tanks, cylinders, $34, the refills at Walmart are like 15 bucks, but I'm going to tell, tell you something that's going to save your life if you're in a grid down situation, 
I'm not going to tell it to you. I'm going to show it to you if they have any left. And I don't see any. We'll go over one more aisle. I think that's the aisle they're supposed to be on. Oh, man. They might be sold out. I'm going to check this out. Okay. Here we go. This is something that will absolutely save your life. You ready? Well, they used to be called Little Buddies. Now they're called Tough Buddies. All right. If you go with the propane, you're going to need an assembly like this. Or the big propane tank. If you go with the one pounders, you can just put them on the side, like right here. All right, 79, 79 bucks, and it's great for indoor. Now, this is for um, more aggressive heating needs. I don't know if this is rated really indoor or not. I don't, don't, this is outdoor, okay? So, this is for your outdoor, this is great for your indoor. Y'all got me? And then, if you really need some heat, boom. 159 bucks, some Mr. Buddy Portable Tough Buddy. And this thing has, let me see here, at low is 4,000 BTUs, medium is 9,000, and at high is 18,000 BTUs. And this one has two adjustments, 4,000 and 9,000. Okay, high and low. I actually have this one. And I'm really thinking about getting me one of these, because this thing is, uh, that's going to be pretty warm. We really don't need one of these for our needs. But I'm trying to, let's look at, let's look at some electrical heaters and see what's comparable to 4,000, 9,000, and uh, 18,000. That's double a medium. Good gracious. All right, let's see here if we can figure this thing out, how hot that is. Okay, so this is a two-way setting, and they say here it is in Spanish, BTUs. 5180 okay so you get a little heater like this 5180 and you know how how much heat these produce right and then you go here to this one this is 5100 okay you see the size of that and these radiator heaters I'm trying to see how many BTUs I don't see it I don't see it okay Y'all know those are those are pretty much heater room. So you can see compared to this, this is 5100. Uh, let's see here. Here's okay. This is 5180. So you can you see already that this thing has it almost beat at the low setting and at the medium setting, or at the high setting on the little one, it definitely has it beat. And then on the big one. This thing right here, uh, in my opinion, only in my opinion now, this could this could probably heat two rooms, maybe three, uh, and it runs 11 hours on low. Uh, it runs 4.8 hours on medium. It runs 2.8 hours on high on two, two one-pound tanks. So there you go right there. I don't even know how long this one runs. I've never run it all the way completely down. And as a matter of fact, the first time we actually used this thing was this weekend when we went camping glamping. And we actually used it outside and it kept us warm, to be honest with you. Uh, easy grip, blah, 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 blah. 4,000, 9,000. Am I hearing Christmas music? Is that what I'm hearing? Runs 5.4 hours on low and 2.4 hours on high. And that's with a one pound. All it takes is a one pound. So I'm going to go back over there and show you guys again for folks that don't know what one pound propane tanks look like. And I'm going to show you the price of those. Now that is your lifesaver, okay? When you don't have heat. Cylinders, uh, looks like you get two of them for $8 or you get four counts for $15. This is what I usually buy. That's a little more expensive, because if you multiply that out, it's going to be over you know, about $17. This right here is $15 for four, so that's your better, better, better buy right here. And you figure something that's going to last you five hours of heat. Um, what was that? I was on high, and I think it said eight hours on low. You can't beat that. Now, that's when the power goes out. Now, normally and regularly, you can just use your, use your electric if you have it. 
or use something else. But for emergency purposes, you can't beat those little buddies and big buddies and tough buddies. So that is going to conclude our portion of shopping at Lowe's right now. And stay tuned for another episode of Shopping at L-O-W-E-S. Yeah. Alright, thank you guys. Take care. Now you guys didn't really think we were done, did you? You know we got to have some bonus features. You know that. So, bonus feature. One item that you can get at Lowe's. And you can get it other places too, but I know that Lowe's carries it. Duct tape. And my brand now that I love is Gorilla Tape. So, make sure you get some of that while you're in, okay? Alright, guys, take care. Subscribe to our channel. Bye. Subscribe to our channel. Yes, subscribe to our channel. Say it again. Subscribe to our channel. Yes, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. <laughs>